In the late 90s, a groundbreaking electric car called the EV1 quickly drew a loyal and hardcore following. But the spark behind GM's first EV ended abruptly. In 2003, electric car enthusiasts gathered in California at a mock funeral for the car, which was discontinued and canceled by GM. The automaker claimed there was not enough market demand to keep the EV dream alive, so they rounded up the cars, shipped them off to the desert, and crushed them under the scorching sun. The death of the EV1 was a defining moment for electric vehicles, not because it was an early setback for the green movement, but because it was also a catalyst for rebirth. The destruction of the EV1 inspired the creation of Tesla Motors. In 2003, two Silicon Valley engineers, Martin Eberhard and Mark Tarpening, sold their e-book business for $187 million and started Tesla to build a greener car. Elon Musk joined as an early investor, leading the Series A financing and taking on several other roles as well. Tesla's plan was simple, but potentially genius. One focus on lithium-ion batteries, which they expected to get cheaper and more powerful for many years. Two, start with a high-margin, high-performance sports car. The aim was to shed existing stigma around EVs and use the revenue to fund a more affordable car. And three, achieve economies of scale so that Tesla could target other segments like semi-trucks. Tesla also planned to integrate energy generation and storage in the home and develop other emerging technologies like autonomous vehicles. With the plan set, the company was ready to build its high-performance, low-volume sports car, the Roadster. Tesla wanted to reduce complex manufacturing by plugging the Tesla developed battery and powertrain into the existing chassis of the Lotus Elise. However, the company began customizing more and more parts, which made costs spiral out of control. By the end, the Roadster and the Elise had little in common, just 7% of parts by count. Tesla was on the verge of bankruptcy, and several CEOs came and went. Eventually, Elon Musk took the job in October 2008. Musk made drastic changes to save the company. He cut 25% of the workforce, recalled 75% of the Roadsters, raised $40 million of debt financing, formed a strategic partnership with Daimler, and borrowed $465 million from the U.S. government. A total of 2,450 Roadsters were made, and the iconic car became the springboard for the EV revolution. Each Roadster had a 992-pound lithium cobalt oxide battery giving the car an impressive 244-mile range. This reduced range anxiety and made EVs more appealing to the masses. In 2010, Tesla IPO'd on the Nasdaq, raising $226 million. It was the first American car company to go public since Ford in 1956. The car maker then aimed for a wider market by focusing on two new cars, Model S and Model X. The two models were poised for success, but Tesla's ultimate potential still seemed limited by the high cost of lithium-ion batteries. After all, if batteries were too expensive, EVs could never compete with gas on price, and they would never be mainstream. To combat this, in 2013, Elon Musk revealed ambitious plans for the Tesla Gigafactory, a massive operation to reach economies of scale in lithium-ion battery production and ultimately make EVs cheaper than gas-powered vehicles. As Tesla built its Gigafactory, it hit many other milestones. The company released Autopilot, giving the Model S semi-autonomous capabilities. The Powerwall was revealed, a lithium-ion battery for the home. Finally, it announced the Model 3, the car for the masses in 2016. By the end of 2017, Tesla passed Ford in market value just seven years after its IPO. To understand Tesla's ambitions for the future, you need to know two things. Their mission, which is to accelerate the world's transition to sustainable energy, and their strategy, which is to productize the factory so that vehicle assembly can be automated at a revolutionary pace. Tesla knows that building a few electric cars won't make a dent in the global energy picture, which is why it's using its factory tech to go bigger and better. The Tesla Semi will go from 0 to 60 with an 80,000-pound payload in just 20 seconds. Musk also says he wants to build a pickup truck and EVs designed for high-passenger-density urban transport. 
The Model Y will be a crossover built on the Model 3 platform, and there will be an ultra-low cost model built as the company achieves scale. To do this, it will also need bigger and better gigafactories. Tesla also wants to change the entire energy paradigm by popularizing an ecosystem that allows homeowners to run their appliances and cars off green energy and even sell it back to the grid. Tesla's goals are ambitious, and the company's strategy is even considered naive by some. But if Elon Musk and Tesla can perfect the building of the machine that builds the machine, all bets will be off. The question is, will Tesla achieve their ambitious goals? Support our channel by liking and subscribing, and visit visualcapitalist.com for new content every day.